Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, now we are going to discuss model of heart. Uh, heart has four chambers. First of all, uh, two atria and two ventricles. Right atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, and on posterior aspect there is uh, left atrium. Similarly, there are two auricles in heart: right auricle and left auricle. These two auricles are the projections of uh, both atrium. Uh, now, uh, let me uh, discuss the borders of heart. There are four borders of heart: left border, right border, left border, inferior border, and superior border. Right border is formed by right atrium, and it extends from superior vena cava to inferior vena cava. This is right border. Then, uh, inferior border is uh, made up of two chambers. Main portion, two third uh, portion of inferior border is formed by right ventricle. While one third portion of inferior border is formed by left ventricle. This is uh, left ventricle, uh, ventricular part of inferior border, which is one third, and this is major portion, uh, which is formed by left uh, right ventricle. Left border is uh, made up of mainly left ventricle. This is left border, and this is mainly made up of. Left ventricle and a small part is also formed by left auricle. Uh, then superior border. This is superior border, and it is formed by right atrium, right auricle, left auricle, and left atrium. This is left atrium. This is superior border. Now, uh, if we move to the surfaces of heart, there are five surfaces: anterior surface, posterior surface, diaphragmatic surface. Right surface and left surface. Uh, now, if we move to the uh, arteries and veins which carry blood uh, away and toward the heart, uh, there are two vena cava which drain the blood, uh, venous blood from whole body into right atrium, superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava uh, carry venous blood from head, neck, and uh, upper uh, limbs and shoulder. Superior vena cava is uh, uh, this is superior vena cava and its tributaries are right sub uh, right common carotid vein, right subclavian vein, left common carotid vein, and left subclavian vein. All these veins combine uh, to form superior uh, vena cava. Uh, at the point at which superior vena cava about, is about to drain in right atrium. A zygous vein also drained into superior vena cava. This is a zygous vein. Then inferior vena cava uh, drained the venous blood of uh, our abdomen and lower limbs into right atrium. Then uh, from right atrium, blood is uh, uh, transported uh, into right ventricle through a uh, tricuspid valve, which is a right atrioventricular valve. From right ventricle, uh, blood is transported uh, to uh, our lungs, which uh, via pulmonary trunk. This is pulmonary trunk, and its pulmonary trunk divides into right and left arteries, which carry deoxygenated blood from heart to both lungs. These are the only arteries of uh, our body which contain deoxygenated blood. Then, uh, if uh, from lungs. Pulmonary veins carry uh, oxygenated blood from lungs to left atrium. This is left atrium on posterior spec, and two pulmonary veins from each lung carry oxygenated blood into the uh, left atrium. These are pulmonary veins from uh, right pulmonary veins. These are left pulmonary veins. Then from left ventricle, left atrium, blood is pumped into left ventricle. And uh, we have mitral valve or bicuspid valve, uh, which is here. Then from uh, left ventricle, blood is pumped into aorta. This is aorta. Aorta has three parts: ascending aorta, which continues, then arch of aorta, and then descending aorta. Aorta uh, then gives uh, the arch of aorta mainly gives three arteries, which are. Break, uh, brachiocephalic trunk. This is brachiocephalic trunk, which then divides to form right common carotid and right subclavian artery. Similarly, uh, arch of aorta also gives uh, left common carotid and 
left subclavian arteries these are this is left common carotid and this is left subclavian artery similarly uh, our heart has a base and an apex apex of heart is this is apex of heart which is formed by left ventricle and base of heart is uh, same, same as the superior border of heart now let me move to the coronary blood supply which is mainly provided by two main arteries left coronary artery and uh, sorry right coronary artery and left coronary artery this one is right coronary artery this one is right coronary artery uh, which originates from right sinus uh, right atrial sinus uh, and sorry uh, which originates from anterior atrial sinus this coronary artery um, uh, right coronary artery mainly uh, present in uh, anterior cor uh, coronary uh, groove then it uh, moves to the posterior aspect and uh, present in posterior coronary groove coronary groove is the uh, groove present between atrium and ventricle we can also call it atrioventricular groove now if we move to the branches of right coronary artery right coronary artery first of all gives a uh, right conus branch this is right conus branch then it gives a branch to sc node this is this one is the uh, branch of right coronary artery which is uh, which provide blood to sc node then uh, it gives a branch to the uh, anterior uh, ventricular branch this one is anterior ventricular branch after it uh, it gives a margin right marginal branch this one is right marginal branch of right coronary artery then it uh, moves to the uh, posterior aspect and in uh, posterior uh, coronary uh, groove uh, this is the right coronary artery which continues and then anastomos with left coronary artery this one is left coronary artery and here the anastomos now let me move to left coronary artery this is left coronary artery which originates from left posterior atrial sinus this one is left posterior atrial sinus and from here it originates after origination uh, left coronary artery give an anterior intervent uh, interventricular branch this one is anterior interventricular branch the inter anterior interventricular branch also gives right, uh, left conus branch left conus branch uh, and right conus branches anastomos with one another then uh, 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 left coronary artery forms a circumflex branch and uh, this circumflex uh, branch is a continuation of left coronary artery this uh, circumflex branch gives left marginal branch and uh, then it continues and uh, anastomos with right coronary artery similarly uh, sorry i forgot one branch of uh, right <laughs> coronary artery uh, which is uh, posterior interventricular branch this is posterior interventricular branch of right coronary artery this one let me move to the uh, venous drainage of heart mainly venous drainage of heart is through a uh, coronary sinus which is on the posterior aspect this one is uh, coronary sinus which drain all the uh, blood from heart tissues into right atrium tributaries of coronary sinus are small uh, small cardiac vein middle cardiac vein great cardiac vein um, marginal veins and many more uh, let me uh, study uh, these veins one by one this one is small cardiac vein small cardiac vein uh, uh, move along with right coronary artery in posterior coronary groove this one is middle coronary uh, medial uh, cardiac vein which also opens into or drain into coronary sinus then on the anterior aspect in the anterior interventricular uh, groove there is great uh, cardiac vein this one is great uh, cardiac vein which accompanies uh, with anterior interventricular artery or anterior interventricular branch of left uh, uh, coronary artery 
this also drains in, uh, at the uh, uh, left side or left end of uh, uh, coronary sinus then there is a left marginal vein left marginal vein uh, is present uh, along with left marginal artery which is a branch of left coronary artery this also opens into uh, left end of uh, the coronary sinus and on the posterior spec there is posterior branch uh, there is branch of posterior branch of left ventricle this one is posterior vein of left ventricle which also opens uh, into coronary sinus so this was all about cor uh, coronary supply of heart and venous drainage of heart